three days since the American elections wrapped up and yet there is no president. The outcome of the presidential election hangs in balance. Team Trump is demanding that the vote count should be stopped. On the other hand, Team Biden has said that every vote must be counted. The anticipation and anxiety is of course at an all-time high in the face of this political turmoil. But the election game is that of numbers, so let's get a sense of where the numbers stand at this point of time. Now, this is the projection that everyone has been looking up. 264 for Biden. He's quite clearly in the lead. He's just six shy of getting to that magic figure of 270. Donald Trump is trailing behind him. He's behind him in several key states. And in the states, it is Pennsylvania and a couple of other states where he's leading. His lead is shrinking. And this is what is going to be concerning the American president. The Associated Press is, of course, leading towards Joe Biden in, in these college votes. Now, Donald Trump, remember, has not given up, despite the fact that he's now trailing Joe Biden by a pretty large margin. These numbers could change as the five crucial battleground states are still counting the ballot. So let's first talk of Arizona. Now, this is what the situation is like in Arizona. Arizona has got 11 key electoral votes. Joe Biden, at this point of time, is leading with about 50.4% of the votes. Trump is trailing behind him with 48.3% of the votes. But this is where it gets interesting. Remember, although Trump is trailing Biden in this state, the trend is Trump is actually catching up with Joe Biden. There are still quite a lot of votes that need to be counted. Will he be able to catch up with Biden? That, of course, is the big question. Now, the next big state that we are looking at, and this, this is going to be hugely crucial, and it is going right down to the wire. 16 electoral votes, that is what Georgia has to offer. Donald Trump had a substantial lead, but now Joe Biden seems to be catching up with him. Look at the margins here. 49.4% of the votes that have been counted, these have gone to Trump. For Biden, he has now caught up with him, almost caught up with him. He's got 49.3% of the votes. By the time the vote count ends, will Biden have pipped Trump? This, this is, of course, something that hangs in the balance. But remember, most of these votes that are now being counted, pretty much all of them, these are all mail-in ballots, and they're all swinging towards Joe Biden. At this point of time, it is still pretty early to call. Let's now move on to the other important state. This is the key state. If Biden wins Nevada, then he's won this election. Nevada has got six electoral votes. Biden at this point of time has got 49.4% of the votes that have been cast. Trump is trailing behind him. Earlier, the lead was much more slender. Trump was on the neck of Biden in Nevada, but he's now falling behind Biden in this case. Now, the other crucial state we also will be talking about, and something that may be called the last, is uh, we'll, we'll be getting the numbers of Pens North Carolina, We'll be getting Pennsylvania in just a bit, but this is what the situation is like in North Carolina. Donald Trump is in the lead here, 50.1%. It looks like a fairly substantial lead, and it is 15 electoral votes, crucial votes, which Donald Trump at this point of time appears to be winning in this state. He may still hold on to this lead. Now, one of the most crucial elections and also one of the most controversial elections is that of Pennsylvania. Remember, Pennsylvania has said, that every vote that has been posted with a postal marking date of the 3rd of November that comes to the election officials till the end of Friday will be counted. Pennsylvania has got 20 electoral votes. At this point of time, this is where the lead is, exactly 1%. Now, at a certain point of time, Donald Trump was leading Joe Biden with almost about half a million votes. The margin is now less than 100,000 votes. And it remains to be seen as to what actually happens here. This, remember, is a very crucial state. Joe Biden does not need to win Pennsylvania. But Trump needs to win Pennsylvania to, in fact, have any chance of holding on to his presidency. How soon will we have the results? This is something that is still up for debate. We expect that the results should be clear in the next 12 hours, maybe sooner. But all of that still hangs in the balance. And what will the Trump camp do? Is, is something that still everyone is speculating about. But Donald Trump has quite clearly said he does not believe in this result. He said that this is fraud. But Joe Biden, at this point of time, is asking his supporters to keep the patience. And the process, he says, is working.